everyone so vapi has just released its own mcp and it's going to make your life very very easy and in this video i'm going to show you the easiest and the most amazing no code way to implement it right now in your ai caller but before that let me explain what an mcp is let's say your agent has to uh, request something or send a message to a slack or an email or something else earlier you had to find out the apis of each and everything separately implement them in your automations and interact with them using tool calls now all that stuff is being taken care by the mcp so if i have to explain it simply mcp is just tool calls which are powered by ai or ai agents let me show you exactly what i mean so i go to my avapi dashboard and i go to tool section and i create a new tool and i'll choose the mcp by the way we have all these new tools available right now in vapi and vapi has changed and improved drastically because earlier we had to code all of these tools manually but now we have everything inbuilt and life is so much easy so i'll go to the mcp and and here i have my mcp tool available now all i need would be the server url which i'll get from the zapier's mcp page just right here i'll also provide the link to this page in the description so you just have to create a url and copy this and go back to vapi and paste it right here that's it that's all you have to do now you click save and we come back to zapier now we have to define the actions that this mcp is allowed to take so for that we have to go to configure actions right here and here i have configured these actions you can create a new one like this so let's say i create a new action right here and i will search let's say send message in slack and like this you can add this channel and then the mcp will be able to communicate with this without you having to code all of this manually using slack apis and what not so imagine how much time you are saving right now with all these mcps that you are learning from this video so anyway let's go back and for this demo i'll just have this gmail node uh, available for so i have uh, configured this gmail for my mcp and the action is send gmail the account is this and to subject and body all of these will have to be filled by the ai which would be our web assistant so all of this would be dynamically done as i'll show you right now so i click done here and i'll turn this on and let me just demonstrate how you will set this up inside your vapi assistant so let's go back to vapi and now our mcp tool is ready to be deployed now we go to assistants and we just do a simple assistant of mcp test and let's say i say that hello how can i help and i'll just prompt you are a helpful assistant that's it and just take any model that's a cheap one because i just want to demonstrate what it feels like for that we have to go to the tools section and select a tool and select the mcp tool right here and this is saved now if we go back to the model and we just start talking to our agent hello how can i help hey can you send an email to rish1234 at gmail.com could you please provide the subject and body for the email you'd like to send yeah the subject would be this is an mcp test and the body should be this mcp is working congratulations uh give me a moment the email has been sent to resh1234 at gmail.com with the subject this is an mcp test and body this mcp is working congratulate them all right thank you You're welcome. If you need anything else, feel free to ask. Have a great day. Okay, now let's go to our Gmail and check if this really happened. Now let me go back to Vapi and just show you how everything happened. So, we are back here. Now we go to uh observe, we go to call logs and we go here details and we go to analysis. Sorry, we go to messages and here we should have a tool call that was called when the MCP was engaged yeah so this was the tool call that was called by uh bappy with zapier and this was what happened 
as we had instructed the MCP server to do. So likewise, you can add any number of services inside one MCP node and all you have to do is to just connect that MCP to any of your voice AI agent and everything would be done for you like that. Isn't that amazing? By the way, Wappy has changed a lot. They have really upped the game and there have been many, many updates to the platform which I think I should make a, a video about. If you also want me to do that, drop in your comments. But I hope this MCP demo was useful and I hope this saves your time and I hope it gives you a lot more leads and clients. And if you want to see how to exactly make voice AI agents that convert, you should see those somewhere on this video right now. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next one.